What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 36 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that David has a rectangle and a right triangle. It gives us a whole bunch of information, all stemming from the fact that we call the width of the rectangle W, and we're supposed to find the combined area of the rectangle and the triangle as a function. All right, this question is going to test our ability to translate a word problem and also do arithmetic with polynomial expressions, which will eventually give us an answer and a function that will match up with all this. So let's go ahead and start by looking at these two words, combined area. What that tells me is that whatever my rectangle is, and then whatever my right triangle is, I'm going to have to find each of their areas and add them together. Now the area of a rectangle is just length times width. Area of a triangle is one half times base times height. Let's see, that's my length, that's my width. I'll leave some room to write here. Base and height, cool. So now that we have a picture that we can fill in some information from, I'm going to go ahead and start to do that. I'm going to start with this sentence. The length of the rectangle is five more then it's width w. So the width of the rectangle, the problem just calls w, so I'll fill that in in blue to distinguish it from just the general idea of width here. Um, and now the length is 5 more than w, so that would be width plus 5, 5 more than the width. I come here to the right triangle, and I see that the length of the shorter leg of the triangle is equal to the rectangle's width, so here's another w. And then the length of the longer leg of the triangle is twice the length of the rectangle, so it's whatever this is, times 2. So 2 times w plus 5, I use the distributed property, that gives me 2w plus 10. So now I have all the information I need to actually use my area formulas and figure out the areas of each individual shape and then combine them. So to start with the rectangle, this is length times width, and this is um, going to be width times width plus 5. Once again, I use the distributive property. Width times width is width squared. Width times 5 is just going to be plus 5. And now I come over here to the triangle where it's 1 half times the base times the height. That's 1 half times w times 2w plus 10. I can treat this as just one number, as 1 half w, and use the distributive property again. So 1 half w times 2w, half of 2 is just 1, this, so this will leave us with 1 times w times w, also known as w squared, and then 1 half times w, and whoops, this should have had a w, I just realized, 1 half times w times 10, half of 10 is 5, so this would just be 5w. So now, I need to add these two expressions together, I will combine my like terms, 1w squared plus 1w squared is going to equal 2w squared, and now 5w plus 5w equals 10w. So this is 2w squared plus 10w. I look at my answer choices, and choice A matches that. 